This historic medieval town is a living museum. Not only it was declared as UNESCO heritage site, but it keeps bringing mad Japanese manga fans every day. No way. Today I'll explore this fortress city with fresh eyes as this is my first day trip to Cuenca. I didn't know what to expect in this city. It all started with the impressive train station. Yeah, it's like some uh, wallpapers, Japanese wallpapers. And we started with taking the bus to the old town. Obviously, there was so much to see in this city, so let's dive into it. It's really scenic. I love how it starts like just getting hillier and hillier, and the buildings just grow up. I can't believe how this whole thing is built. And over there, like rock formations and houses and flowers. This is serious business. If you're coming to Cuenca at this time, make sure comfortable shoes, plenty of water, a lot of rest. They have all these benches everywhere because that's no joke. It is steep, steep, steep to go to these hanging houses and to really enjoy the beauty of Cuenca. You gotta go through some trouble. My cardio, I guess I didn't train enough. Look at this little road there. Medieval tower or something, you see the edges? So the reason why Japanese are coming and they're crazy about this city, nowhere else but in Spain, in this little city of Cuenca, they portrayed in their manga stories, these hanging houses, this rock and a few other places in Cuenca, the manga story, Sora no Oto. So everybody's coming here to see this monument. Maybe from here, I'm gonna come down and the iconic bridge connecting this side to this side. And this hanging house holds the abstract art of the 1960s Spanish artists. It's one of the most unexpected places here in Cuenca. Look how beautiful it is over there. Cuenca Cathedral is located in the old town city center on Plaza Mayor. This is one of the first and oldest Gothic cathedrals in Spain. I was completely blown away by everything I saw inside. It's a very impressive cathedral, one of my favorite. I didn't expect that such a small city can have this massive cathedral. I mean, one, another one that I like, it's in Sevilla, but this one, it's impressive from the outside and inside, and it just, there's so much space and so much artworks and sculptures and, and there's a QR code next to the main parts of the cathedral. You scan the code like this, like basically like a menu. Well, they're all gothic, like in the sense that the ceiling, it's pretty similar. This is so impressive. It's like, I don't get the church feeling. It's more like an art gallery. Each part of the cathedral has a different feel, has different ornaments, ceilings, but that's not all. Wait till you get on top of the cathedral. That's something else. No way. It's tight, it's narrow, it's high, it's spirally, going on and on and on, but hey. Let me see the whole cathedral from here. And now we're gonna go eat because we're hungry. We're gonna try some traditional restaurants in the center it's kind of a ride like a 10 minutes uh, by bus to get to the center from the station so we're gonna try some traditional restaurant and let's discover cuenca all these touristic cities should have like really good restaurants given the menu it's written in like old medieval font it's, uh, it's really cool inside. We decided to sit inside because it's hot there in the, in the little garden. Uh, gazpacho y bacalao. Mismo, gazpacho, bacalao. Dos menus. This is my grilled cheese. But I'm excited to try the gazpacho. Let's add everything. Mm. 
it's nice. It's more more like a tomato juice. I my mom actually makes it at home. It has more flavor, more spices. Here it's a little more plain. Yeah, a little plain. The bacalao it's here. It's part of the menu del dia, so it's kind of like a slightly smaller than probably what a normal size ration should be. And I like how they have the potatoes, like thin slices of potatoes. Our friends got this juicy, juicy steak. Just finished our lunch at the restaurant. I can't say I was impressed. I had more authentic and better food some other places, even Altea of all places that you know you would expect serving more tour to the tourists and but yeah the atmosphere was good but food was like just okay for me this is so elegant these little benches going into the road but check this out these are actually stairs leading to the house. I was very pleasantly surprised by this trip to Cuenca. And if you're in Valencia or Madrid, it's only an hour from either city. There's so much history, there's so much beauty to see in Cuenca. So just hop on a train and enjoy this medieval city.